Good afternoon. I'm Pastor Brian Crane, pastor of Grace Lutheran Church, and we're very glad to have you watching us for our summer hymn sing. And uh, playing the organ today is Christopher Eaton. So thank you very much to him. We have nine hymns for you today, um, kind of set in three groups of three. The first, remembering our baptism. The second, hymns of comfort and prayer. And the third, that sing about the church. The um, microphone is a little closer to, and the camera are a little closer to the organ than um, we had before. Because <clears throat> when we were doing this um, back in April and May, we had actually a Wi-Fi booster in the church because we were uh, live streaming our services that way. We weren't able to have regular Sunday service. Um, but now we are, so the Wi-Fi signal isn't quite as strong in the church as it was then. So I put it a little closer to the back of the church, so it's closer to the church office and the Wi-Fi signal. So hopefully you all can watch this okay and the signal quality will be okay as well. Um, so again, Thank you for um, watching and listening. And uh, we'll begin our hymn sing today with our first hymn. It's um, number 594, God's Own Child, I Gladly Say It. It's a perhaps a newer hymn for us. It was included in our hymnal supplement from 1998, I think, for the first time. And it's in our current hymnal, Lutheran Service Book. Um, but it's actually an older hymn, dates back to 1718 from Germany. So the uh, hymn again is hymn 594, God's Own Child, I Gladly Say It. God's own child, I gladly say it, I am baptized into Christ, he because I could not pay it, gave my full redemption price. Do I need his treasures many? I have one worth did release me in a dear forgiving flood, sprinkling me with Jesus' blood. Satan, hear this proclamation, I am baptized into Christ. Drop your ugly so soon enticed now that to the front I've traveled all your might has come unraveled and against your tyranny God my Lord unites with me death you not end my gladness. I am baptized into Christ. 
dust and ashes, base assurance brightly flashes, baptism has the strength divine. next hymn is a familiar one for many of us, I'm sure. It's hymn number 590, Baptized into Your Name Most Holy. into your name most holy O Father, Son and Holy Ghost I claim a place the weak and lowly among your saints your chosen host buried with Christ and death to sin your spirit now shall live within my loving father here you take me to be henceforth your child and heir my faithful savior here fruit of all your sorrows share. O Holy Spirit, comfort me when threatening clouds around I see. My faithful God, surely will endure. Oh, cast me not away forever. If words and deeds become impure, have mercy when I come defiled. Forgive, lift up, Restore your child. All that I am and love most dearly, receive it all, O oh Lord, from me. Let me confess my faith sincerely. Help me your faith faithful child to be. Let nothing that I am or own serve any will but yours alone. 
This next one is, I think, kind of a fun one, uh, a rousing one, a, a one with lots of energy and, but most importantly, wonderful words. Um, it's a very new hymn um, in terms of uh, ages for hymns. It's just a little over 20 years old, written by a Lutheran pastor in Michigan named Stephen Starkey. It's hymn number 597, Water, Blood, and Spirit Crying. Living through the living. 
Our next three hymns all sing of, of comfort and the opportunity for prayer uh, that our Lord gives us and the comfort we find in him and in being able to come to him in prayer. The first hymn is uh, hymn 738, Lord of All Hopefulness. It's an early uh, 20th century hymn from England and it's coupled with the tune that we just heard Christopher play. It's an Irish tune called Slain. And so again, it's hymn number 738, Lord of All Hopefulness. next hymn is a hymn um, from Martin Luther from the time of the Reformation. It's actually an even older hymn than that. It dates to the 13th century from Germany. But Luther, who was one who wanted to reform the church and keep what was good in the church and only reform or change what was false and contrary to scripture, he took this older hymn and added some uh, new verses to it. And it was a, a standard hymn in those early years and decades of the Lutheran Reformation. And so we get to sing it today in English, of course, um, some 500 or so years later. It's hymn number 768, To God the Holy Spirit, Let Us Pray. the Holy 
Last hymn in this section of comfort and prayer is hymn 715, Jesus Savior Pilot Me. It's a 19th century American hymn, and it turns out it's going to be the closing hymn for our uh, weekend services uh, this weekend. Um, the gospel reading for this weekend is Jesus walking on the water of the Sea of Galilee to uh, in the midst of the storm, and he calmed his frightened disciples. So it's certainly very fitting words for us as we deal with our own storms and challenges in this uh, day and age in which we live. So it's hymn number 715, Jesus, Savior, Pilot Me. Bye. 
The final three hymns for today all sing about the church. In our program, we have them listed as the mighty church. And certainly, the church is mighty because she is the bride of Christ, the mighty one. And so, even in times of difficulty, the church continues because Christ is with her, having given his life for her. <clears throat> and so these next hymns all sing loudly and strongly about the church and God's love for her. And so they probably don't need much in the way of introduction. They're all pretty familiar ones, I think. Um, the first one is a wonderful hymn we sing every All Saints Day, first Sunday in November. It's hymn 677, For All the Saints.
soon to faithful warriors cometh rest sweet is the calm of paradise the blessed Next one is a wonderful hymn too, a familiar one, hymn 644, The Church's One Foundation.
Yet saints their watch are keeping, their cry goes up, how long? And soon the night of weeping shall be the morn of song. Through toil and tribulation and tumult of her war, she waits the consummation of Final hymn. It's hard to believe we're already at our final hymn <laughs> for today, anyway. Is wonderful hymn of Martin Luther and of our Lutheran Church, and I think of just the church in general. What a wonderful song to sing any time, but especially in these difficult times in which we live. A reminder that God indeed is our fortress. It's hymn number 656, A Mighty Fortress is Our God. With 
That concludes our hymn sing for today. Thank you again to everyone for watching and listening. Thank you especially to Christopher for playing for us again. Uh, Christopher is heading off to college in a few weeks to UW Stevens Point. So we wish him well and God's blessings up there. And uh, we'll plan to do another one of these. I'm not sure when, but we'll, we'll let you know when we get it all figured out. But thanks for watching and God bless you. And I hope you have a wonderful day and look forward to seeing, seeing you all soon. God bless you. Thank you.